Welcome students. In this short video I'm going to show you how to set up FileZilla for use in our course. Uh, this is an FTP client and it's used to transfer files from your local machine to the web server which is remote. You can see here I'm using FileZilla 3.7.3 so you want to make sure that you have the latest version of the software. And one of the first things we want to do actually is make sure that we have a local folder created on our machine on our computer where we can store our website. So you can see here I'm looking at Windows Explorer on a PC. If you have a Mac you uh, know what to do. You should open the um, software that lets you see your disk and all your files. And you want to go ahead and I'm going to go to my documents or my documents folder and you'll see I have a website folder created. So you'll want to create a folder called website and then uh, we're going to go inside of that, double click on it and now inside that folder I want to create a new folder and we'll call it images. Uh, this is where we'll store all the images for our website. Typically it's good to create a separate folder for that. Okay, so once that's done I can shut down Windows Explorer and now I'm back to FileZilla. All right, so first of all at the top of the screen you see the quick connect bar most likely and most people use that to connect to their FTP server. However, in this case we're not going to use the Quick Connect bar in this class because we want to configure our settings a little bit more uh, a little bit more carefully. So we're going to come up here to the File Site Manager and this window opens and we'll go ahead and click on New Site to set up a new configuration. You might want to just call it the Class Server or something like that, something that will remind you of which one this is. Hit Enter and then we go to the General tab on the right the first thing we do is put in the host. Now, I gave you this information the other night in class. Uh, the host would be worldclasstech.net and the port would be 21. Okay. And the protocol that we're using in this class is FTP. We're not using SFTP and we're using plain FTP for the encryption. In other words that means there's no encryption. Uh, the login type is going to be normal so change that to normal and go ahead and type in your username and um, your username uh, again was given to you the other night class it is your first initial last name plus uh, at worldclasstech.net and then your password okay and the account and comments area you don't need to put anything there all right, with that done, let's go to the Advanced tab. Let's make sure our settings are all set up correctly. The server type is default, auto detect. Don't click any of these other settings. We're not using proxy. Next, go to the transfer settings. Very important that you click this uh, default. Default for most servers is passive, and that is true of the server we're using. So we're going to be using passive transfer mode, but just leave it on default. That will work fine. And none of these other boxes are checked. Care set or character set is on auto detect. Uh, one last thing, uh, back on the advanced tab that I forgot to do. Um, we want to set up a default local directory. This is going to be that website folder that we just made sure we had on our hard drive on the local machine. And so the easiest thing to do is to click on Browse and go back again to your Documents folder or wherever you keep that folder. And there's that website folder that we created. You want to click on the word Website. Do not click on the Images folder. Say OK and it should look something like this in um, your settings here. We don't set up a default remote directory, that's not necessary. Alright, once all of that is done, we're done setting it up, we click on OK. And now in order to actually connect to the server, we uh, cl click on this uh, Open Site Manager button and click on the pull down menu and you'll see the name of the server you just set up, Class Server. And if you did it all correctly, up here in the top window you'll see the messages that came from the servers you logged in and you were successful in setting or connecting to the uh, remote web server and then down here below on the left and right pane you'll see on the left you'll see that website folder that you happen to be in because I, I know that because I see that images folder that I just created and on the right I see the remote directory this is the web server itself um, and in there you should see for sure a CGI bin and you should see an FTP quota file and you should see index.html. You may not see the images folder. I'm not sure if I created that or not in the remote directories uh, but for sure you'll see these other files. 
and that means you've successfully logged into and are viewing the remote directory. Okay, that's it. This is a great uh, FTP client. It's called FileZilla, and that's how you set it up for class.